Hey guys, welcome on back to the channel. Ladies and gentlemen, I sent it a little too hard. Sent it a little too hard with the old Chevy here, with the little dirty max, and I have run out of Dessel. I, it ain't good. I got on this stretch where there was like a 30 mile zone of no gas stations and she just shut on down. I mean, I've never just run flat out of gas or diesel, but uh, we're there. Uh, I just had a guy stop, a local deer hunter. His name was Eric. Uh, big shout out to Eric right now. Even if I get diesel back in it, it may not start. So we're, we're in for some problems here. Eric gave me his number and he said, if I have any other issues, like to just give him a call. So now we're gonna start this one off with a little, little adventure on the way down to the deer release and just getting there is, uh, is a problem so far. So hopefully our diesel comes in the next uh, 10 minutes or so. Sun's going down. Really don't like to be driving on the roads when uh, the deer are running around in the rut either, but Welcome on back, y'all. Let's uh, let's get this sucker going. So I'm here off the highway in uh, Glen Rose, Texas. So if you guys ever come off the, uh, the tollway and you're wondering, uh, I should get gas, like maybe on the tollway or before I get on. Uh, well, if you're coming down this way, you, you better go ahead and do it. Pretty sunset out here. Heck, Maybe the deer might walk out here on the road. Who knows? Uh, our partner, Eric, should be coming by any minute. I just had a, a big rig diesel pull over and uh, said he normally has a, a can with him. And, you know, he'd siphon it out if he had a hose. I mean, y'all, there's still really great people in this world. I mean, God bless y'all. Uh, Eric's here right now. He's pulling in. So hopefully we get this going. Okay, truck is on, ladies and gentlemen. Eric is behind me, he just left. We've got something I'm gonna share with y'all here in a minute, but we're gonna get to the gas station first. Well, y'all, we have made it to deer camp. Thunderstorms. Uh, truck troubles, you know, you, you do whatever you can to get to deer camp. You know what I'm saying? I just want to give a shout out to Eric who helped me tonight. I tried to pay him. I was like, man, please let me pay you for your time. He would let me do it. I told him, I said, man, there's just some good people left in this world. He said, yes, sir, there is. And, you know, I was happy to help you and just remember to pay it forward. And so I just want to pass that message on. And he gave me something. He didn't say too much about it. He just said, uh, hey, man, I just wanted to give you this. And it is a, a brochure for the Cooper Max Foundation. I'm reading through this with you guys, like real time. The Cooper Max Foundation.org, obviously. I'm gonna link it down below. Eric's involved with this. Uh, it's an organization that helps children with AIDS, asthma, cystic fibrosis, diabetes, uh, congenital abnormalities. I'm gonna pay it forward by giving that organization a shout out, donating myself. And if you guys want to help them out, um, you can go do that. It's a very good cause. Learned a lesson on uh, the old fill up. Truck seems to be running fine, but now that we're here, it is time to hunt. Here with Mike, the mullet man. Um, he's, he's fresh off some Colorado hunts and we're both looking for something gnarly out here. So let's hop in the ATVs. Let's go check some cams and see what kind of freaks are wandering around out here. What did I call it? You got it? your camera out. That was when we saw the fox. Oh, dude, it stopped taking photos on the 19th. I apologize. If this wand comes in here. Whoa, go back. This, that, I think that's the juice call, maybe. This is like button buck central, too. I don't know what it is, but every. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Look at all the crappy bugs. <laughs> They're what? telling you, it's like a school of 10 inch on. bass. They come in from the booby hill itself in that left road. Mm -hmm. They walk up it. <laughs> this is not a crap dude. buck. I mean. Dude. That's a little that's squat. A, that's a coal too. <laughs> Eight's there a lot. I really want to see what's in turkey bacon. For it. That's a perfect place to put that uh, double seater ladder stand I have. Look at that goofy sucker. What is up with the genetics Dude, out Dude, look here? at that pencil, <laughs> pencil horn. Chopsticks. Uh, 
We got some options, let's just say. For coal bugs. We got some options for coal bugs. The, uh, the trophy buck situation is going to be a little bit of a tough task. They, there are a few, but they're few and far. So, we're going to set up in the morning. Uh, I'm going to go to a blind that uh, me and Mike set up like a month ago, and none of us have sat at it so far. It's on that weird edge corner of the property. Uh, Mike set up a camera there, but um, batteries died in it too, so we don't know. It's kind of a mystery, so hopefully there's a giant there in the morning, and uh, if it's got 10 points and it's mature, we're slinging an arrow, ladies and gentlemen. So, uh, no more storms coming through the night either. It's gonna be a nice, clear night. Wake up early in the morning. We're gonna be uh, way high up in the tree. I need a harness. Safety will be involved. Time to rock and roll, y'all. So, going up in the tree stand, never been up in there before. I'm attached uh, to this harness. So, we're gonna go dangle, but from a tree. see something good. 
grabs and draws near from the deer to hide. Try a little bit of rattling here. another 30 minutes I'll I'll see something else like this is this is a good day to sit rattle grunt and uh, I might do a little walking around but I think we're gonna get down head back check in with Mike see what he saw see if he got anything and uh, get a game plan from there but phew, really awesome sit Would you cook it up there? Oh, that's what I got. Huh? Jimmy Dean's? Yeah, a little something, something. We got uh, pizza bites in the, in the oven. There's oh. Your little, oh, is this for me? Little slice of breakfast. Wow, thank you. That's a, that's a good breakfast, man. Mike, have a wonderful sit this morning. No deer hanging up, I see. I think right, uh, Mike ran into the same problem I did. and It was called Little Buckville. He has a crab claw, but he, he's not a nine point. Is he not walk out in the open at all? No. No, he stays elusive. Well, that was the biggest aerosol. He's got a, it's like a curled finger. Really? Like that. He's a nice little ten point, but I give him one more year. I was a little scared. Because you have the harness on when you're up there. Yeah. But then you're sitting down, I mean, you're fine. But it's like that first 10 maneuvers to like shimmy yeah. and when you're cold and you got a backpack on and a bow and all this stuff. Did like, you use the string we put up there? Yeah, but that's a cool stand. I like sitting there. Yeah. We'll definitely go there again. Ah. <sighs> 
Well, y'all, it's been an interesting dive into my outdoor life here in the last uh, uh, 12 hours. And uh, it was a really fun sit, but it's good to know the potential I could go back there, rattle, grunt, and get some activity. And I think we're gonna just continue that, that game plan. I'm gonna go to a, a different spot this afternoon and do a little rattling, walking and stuff in between. So that's gonna be the next video. Subscribe to the channel so we can reach the million subscriber mark and become champions of the YouTube. That's not, not a champion, but it's still, it's still fun to say. Million. There's a million of you out there. Don't forget to go through this life with a good positive attitude and to just pass that on to others. And uh, good things will happen, y'all. So thanks for tuning in. I will see you guys on the next adventure. God bless you.